I'm in our vascular lab at Cleveland Regional Medical Center, which is a state-of-the-art facility where we perform a wide array of minimally invasive procedures to treat vascular disorders. The most common disease we treat is peripheral vascular disease, commonly referred to as PVD. It's frequently seen in patients who smoke or are diabetic. PVD is a narrowing of the arteries which slows blood flow and decreases the amount of oxygen that can be delivered to the feet. In early stages, it can cause leg cramps or pain. As PVD progresses, it can lead to ulcerations and even limb loss. The newest device we have to combat PVD is called the Diamondback, an excisional atherectomy device. The functional tip of the catheter has a small diamond tip blade that spins at a high rate of speed to chew up the plaque and increase the blood flow to the leg and foot. One advantage of the Diamondback is it is effective in smaller arteries where stents are not appropriate. This technology lets us treat very advanced arterial disease without an incision and frequently it can be done on an outpatient basis. Traditional treatment for blockages in blood vessels is an arterial bypass procedure which is generally a multiple hour procedure that involves long incisions and about a week in the hospital. Recovery for the Diamondback is days compared with weeks or months compared with bypass. This is the Diamondback catheter that goes into the patient. We deliver the diamond tip blade to the area of disease and it is then attached to the device which powers the catheter to spin at a high rate of speed and remove the disease portion of the vessel to improve blood flow. The catheter is removed at the completion of the procedure and the patient can generally go home a couple of hours later. Again, the goal is to alleviate leg pain and prevent limb loss. Balloon angioplasty and stenting are the most common procedures we perform in the vascular lab to improve blood flow through the diseased artery. A balloon similar to this is placed across the stenosis or stricture in the blood vessel to break the plaque and increase lumen size. These stents are then used to create a scaffolding along the blood vessel to keep it open. Patients generally can be discharged the same day and resume normal activity within two to three days. If you smoke or have diabetes and you are experiencing leg pain when you walk or if you have non-healing ulcers, you may well have peripheral vascular disease and could benefit from a vascular procedure. Please talk with your medical doctor and ask them if you are an appropriate candidate for a peripheral vascular disease screening test.